guys this is young and what a beautiful day with the blue sky so I just wanted to show you guys the sky and today I also want to talk about Sony drone or at least Sony drone project actually the video footage that I show you at the very beginning that's taken with Mavic Air 2 however you guys know that Mavic Air 2 actually has Sony image sensor but today I thought it's a good idea for me to actually bring out the news Actually, it's not really a news because actually the announcement was about two weeks ago. So I'm a little bit late in actually sharing the information to you guys. But just in case there is anyone who doesn't have that information that I want to bring all the information that we know on the table. So on 9th of November 2020, Sony made an announcement of their new project, Air Peak. And this is a little teaser that they showed. So that was only one propeller, but it looked really sleek. And what I'm really excited about with Sony is that because a lot of image sensor own DJI drones, Mavic Air 2 has image sensor from Sony IMX586. So it'll be really exciting to see a drone that, you know, is perhaps better than what we can get with Mavic Air 2. So now let's quickly have a look at the official website of Airpeak in Sony.net. So it's talking about elevating creativity. So that really sounds like it's built for creator. It says combining our imaging and sensing technological expertise and AI robotics. We open the skies into an infinite creative playground, one with unprecedented freedom. Let us lift you to never reach creativity experience by unleashing all constraints and barriers. Okay, those are like exciting words. So let's look at the actual news release. It says Sony launches drone projects in the field of AI robotics. It really talks about its imaging and sensing technology and it talks about how it will support the creativity of video creators to the fullest extent possible. So it certainly seems like it's going to create drones for you know, consumers. Something to compete against the consumer level drones of DJI, I hope. And it seems like they're already working with you know those drone users getting feedback and so on and for the launch of the project in the spring of 2021. Okay, and last paragraph, they say the company soon plans to begin seeking for the partners in the professional space who can collaborate on the project. Me? <laughs> no, I'm not a professional, so, but it would be an honor if they do, you know, come and ask me. I'm happy to do it. However, I'm really excited, you know, because currently the consumer level drone has been dominated by DJI. And yes, I have to apologize to you guys because I haven't yet got Mini 2 because I didn't know that Mini 2 would be coming out pretty much almost at the same time as Pocket 2, which I'm using right now to actually do this little video. So I kind of want to just not spend all my money on these like, DJI, you know, consumer level cameras. I do want to save up for more like exciting technology. However, I do really think Mavic Mini 2 is a very, very exciting drone because it's like 4K just like Mavic Air 2. And also it is Ocusync 2.0 just like Mavic Air 2, but smaller. And it looks like it can actually resist wind big time. So, but I'm happy with my Mavic Air 2. I'll just keep this in. Let's see what Sony has in store for us. Is it going to be a serious contender? I just hope it's not going to be as expensive as a lot of products from Sony where the price tag is really premium. But let's see. I do hope I will give you guys an update as we actually get to hear more rumors about the project. I really hope. And I'll keep you guys posted with exciting reviews and also exciting news from the tech. So please don't forget to subscribe, like the video and see you.